Hello, I'm the Head Start Director. My name is Joe Sagrevo. I'm the Head Start Director and I work for the Moore Independent Schools. What we've got here right now is a distribution center for the families that were affected by the fires. We're going to be distributing food. We're hoping to start at 4 o'clock and throughout the rest of the week as food comes in. Um, basically, we applied for money uh, through the Salvation Army. Some of the food provided is through the Salvation Army. Others is provided by the Peñasco schools, the Mora schools, uh, the small businesses in Peñasco. I couldn't tell you all the names of them, but they're all the small businesses donated product for us. So we've got paper goods, we've got toiletries, we've got feminine hygiene product, we've got staples, and uh, we'll have more food this afternoon and some more tomorrow. Um, all this has been made possible by volunteers and my staff that have kind of put this together. Um, Got to give credit to my brother because he's the one who's kind of been coordinating this stuff, Jason Grebo. But um, we're everybody who's in here is volunteering to help him get this food distributed. We started talking about this the other day, me and my staff, to what are we going to do for the families that didn't leave and that couldn't leave, not because mm -hmm. they didn't want to leave, but when you have responsibilities of caring for animals in a farm and a ranch, it's hard to leave those animals and stuff without care. Um, but our business has shut down and we have one business that's providing but doesn't have enough to provide for everybody so we thought this would be a great opportunity for us to get some product and stuff out to the to the family so we're hoping to start open up at four it's probably after four but nothing goes as planned um, almost four so we're, we're, all, we're right there uh, but I do have a truck coming out of Española it'll be here about an hour and a half that's coming from the city of Española they're donating all this this, this next two loads that come in okay. that's coming from them um, Big thanks to Marvin McCauley for allowing us to be able to be a distribution site, the superintendent, and then my staff that's, you know, and, and families that are volunteering that were affected by the fire are also on here volunteering. I would ask you to take a look inside and see what we've set up. Okay. It's just getting started, so um, we're not quite there yet. Thank okay, you so much. Good. This is a good idea, a good service for the community. Yes, and we're hoping that, that you know, we can get, uh, we're going to do another list tonight and find out what we don't have and get more product in tomorrow, hopefully. And this will be all week? And we're hoping to keep it all week or until okay. we run out. And so the families that can't come out, uh, my staff will be reaching out, we'll put packets together and we'll deliver it to those families that can't come out. Very good. Vamos a mirar acá adentro. Hello. Hello. Estamos con all the volunteers preparing to receive the people from the community in this um, time of need.